Welcome back all my alloids. I'm fixing alloy one here. Today we are playing some more savage lands. Now as you see we're gonna need food. We're sitting here warming up at our shelter. Now commonly it is nighttime, which means and I will show you guys. If I come out here away from my camp, you'll start seeing it's just how quick. Look at that, 95, 94, just how quick my warmth meter starts to drop. It is cold. I keep thinking I'm hearing wolves. Now I did some work on I, I this is my second attempt at recording this episode, guys. Since I in the middle of the episode I did some work on like the uh, in the options menu to try to get the game to run better. And I actually found if I lowered my screen resolution, it does. But I changed something on accident, and in the process of changing that one thing, oh my god, the lag was terrible. We got stuck in the menu screen for like ten minutes. So if you guys get this game, you have problems with the lag, and the game booster just doesn't seem to. Be Finishing it up all the way because the game booster was helping. It's just that little bit of lag was starting to get to me. Lower your screen resolution. Yeah, I'm hearing wolves. I don't see them. But anyway, guys, we're we're, gonna, we're pretty much stuck here until the daytime. That's the one downside to this game is we can't really go anywhere until it's daytime. Well, it's one campfire smoking and it's getting my way of seeing. So let's see what we got left for our basic survival tasks. Kill dude here, build a lean tune, collect four claw shreds. Now we're not going to finish the lean tune we started right here. And I know that seems like a waste, guys. We wasted four logs and eight sticks and one sinew. But I w we want to go to the town. And I w in between, I'm, I'm filming all the first three episodes are right here. Like, this is the third episode. I filmed all three of these the same day. So the day I got this. Now, I did some research between this episode and the last episode, and we want to go to the town because we know stuff, we already know that stuff respawns. I mentioned that in the previous two episodes. This town does have a lot of good stuff, and you can actually sit inside the buildings and warm up. So I don't know if we can do that with our houses and stuff we build, but it would give us somewhere to hide in the process of us, like if our fire goes out, because I looked into that too. The fire pits are no long, do not last forever no more. They used to, but they don't no more. You can't relight it, so every time it goes out, you have to build a new one. So if the developers are watching, that would be a nice thing to add, a way to relight your campfires instead of... That's a lot of materials into building one campfire. And as you guys can see, I just got a campfire sitting here smoking, blocking off my view. You'd be attacked by something. But we're stuck here until daytime. I'm not quite sure how long that's going to be. But I am going to pause the recording because there's no point of you guys just sitting here watching me do nothing. When we come, when daytime comes, I'll bring back up the recording, guys, and I'll show you where to go. Because that fire we were heading to in the first episode, it is the right. I was going the right direction. I just had to go a little bit farther. The game does not randomly generate a map. It's the same map every time. Same spawn every time. I think. I'm pretty sure that's what I heard, but I might be wrong. Don't quote me on that. All right, so I'll see you guys in the daytime. Hopefully, we don't starve to death before then. Guys, it's, uh, it's not daytime yet, but I keep hearing wolves, and they're getting closer. Now, I did go over back to where that lean to is over there by that little stone rundown house, and just because our food situation was getting really critical, I found two apples, but I also found this stone sword. So, and then I also found another cloth, so in our journal here, the uh, four cloth shreds, we did that. So now we gotta get to kill two deer and build a lean to. That's all we got left to do for this. And I don't know if it's gonna open up another section, I don't know if it's gonna give us a reward. Be nice. And another little ni ni neat little nifty thing I found. I just wanted to share this with you guys because I didn't know this. I want somebody. If I don't know it, I want you guys. And I figured out. I'm gonna share it with you guys. Look, we could chop down the brush. That gives us sticks. I didn't see one fall that time though. Let's we'll try this one. So it looks like yep, there's a stick. Looks like pretty much everything in this game can be chopped up and chopped down and cut back, which will be great because that that gives you a good line of sight right there. And that's really good in games like this, where you gotta only worry about the creatures and baddies out there trying to kill you. Look at that, our health already went down. Oh, we already went. Oh no! Oh no! Our fire went out. All right, guys, we have to go down the beach. So we're going on a night truck here. I heard something for real that time. So guys, we're trucking down the beach at night now because. Uh, we're already at 73%. See, that's what I'm saying, guys. At nighttime, if you're not by a fire, it's cold. Now, this fire on the beach, I've heard, doesn't ever go out. That's what everyone says. The fire on the beach is always lit. We don't want to run. We don't want to run. 
Or do you want that stone? There's a few stones down here. Why do I get the feeling we're being followed? Huh. See, I hear the wolf again. This is over by where we first spawn. We're not going to worry about collecting. Well, we'll grab that one on our way by. I don't know if I got it or not, but we need to get to a fire. I wish I can get rid of this torch. Obviously, it doesn't work no more. I'll just drop it. I don't think there's no. I don't think there's a relighting it. So, and see, guys, there's the wolves again. I really want to get warmed up before I have to fight something. No, oh my god, I hope this was I, guy was right. Yep, there it is. Y'all see it? I can't tell if it's still burning or not. <coughs> Hopefully it's still burning. But this is the first landmark we need in order to get to the village. Hopefully there'll be some food here. If we eat some food, that'll bring our warmth up a little bit too. But this is the first landmark he mentioned to get to the village. And so this... It's just pretty much an easy way to get to the village. We're getting a little bit lag now, maybe because we haven't came and generated the section of the world yet. He hasn't had a chance to save into our memory, and I hear those wolves again. Please tell me it's lit. Wait, I could have sworn I'd just seen it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Still no campfire. We're at 25%. We're going to start freezing to that soon. Oh, and I'm in the water. I'm in the water. Alright, guys. This is turning into a bit concerning here for me. I thought I'd seen the campfire. Is that it up there? Once again, I don't want to run. That's just another tree. See, he didn't seem to walk that far. And he was at the campfire. And from there, you went to some like ditch, and you followed the ditch, and you made it to the village. But I'm not seeing the campfire. I am hearing the woofs, but I am not seeing a campfire. I don't know what's going to happen when we die, guys, but we're getting to that point where some something we need to worry about. Guess we could chop down a tree and make another campfire real quick. Oh my god. Yeah, we're losing health now. At the same rate. We get it? Yeah. I'm really concerned about these wolves I'm hearing too. I'm worried really they're gonna find me before I can get this built. I think we already have enough. Please click. No, we don't have enough rocks and we don't have any flints. So let's go ahead and start looking for some rocks and flint in the nearby vicinity. Oh, now we're starving too. Anything else you want to have happen to us? Can anything else happen to us real quick? I mean, I would love for, you know, like, you know... Why don't we have that dragon swoop down and, like, rip my arm off while we're at it? <coughs> oh, man. We're gonna die. I don't know what's gonna happen when we die. I'm pretty sure we just, like, respawn. But are we gonna lose all our cool stuff? Let's see, we're good with the damn beach now, and there's still no... <sighs> Should have just stayed where we were at. Oh, my screen's turning red. I'm definitely dying. My character is definitely not in the best of health. Well, guys, we're about to find out what happens when you die. I don't even know where the campfire I was building went to. 
my characters. Oh man, guys, that is so. I like that little red screen thing, but it's so like discerning right now. With us only being on our third day. And there's our campfire we were building. Don't die yet, dude. We still got 20% health. I don't think we're going to find the necessary ingredients, guys, to finish this campfire. We are looking really bloody and veiny right now on our screen. I don't know why all of a sudden he's dying like this, why he's seeing blood and everything. We have starved and froze to death all in one episode. All in one shot. Here it go, guys. Final countdown. Eight. Seven. I'm just going to try to get as far down the beach as I can get. That way, if we get a chance to loot our body, we can get that sword back. Be really upset if I lose that. Two, one. You have died. Days alive. One respawn. Okay, that's what we want. Oh, we gotta wait till I guess the end of the countdown. So there you guys, guys go. One day, we're dead. Respawn. All right, so it is still nighttime though. That's not good. Do we have an axe? What? We don't have anything. We're naked. <coughs> but this is definitely the same beach. Here's our stones again. Let's go find our body, I guess. See if we can loot it. Yeah, there's our torch we threw down. Hopefully we're not too far down the beach. Still need flint. Why am I walking so weird? There we go. So I guess we'll keep an eye out for our dead body. We can loot it and get our shit back. It'd be nice. Now at the moment I'm pretty sure we're playing by ourselves on a single use service. So there's not like anyone else running around too. I didn't join a game, I ain't hosting a game right now, but this right here would be a concern. If you were to die of the ailments, somebody else were to find your body that night. That would really terribly suck. Like before you had a chance to go get your stuff back, somebody else came and took all your shit. I want to say we weren't far from here. I guess we were a bit farther down. Huh. If I die again because I'm up all night looking for my damn body, it's going to blow. But I, we don't even have an axe right now, so it's not like we could do anything else. I'm pretty sure those are the bushes we were walking through when we died. Is it? Yes! Loot corpse. Oh, yes, we want our sword. We want our axe. Want that. Want that. We want all this shit, really. At least we got damn clothes on again. No, oh, I want the stones up here. We'll put this right here. Put our bandages up here, too. Ah, I did not want to do that. And we have to pick up our axe, I guess, individually. So... My crew hatch it back, thank you. So we're still freezing. But I think the night's almost over. So I went damn far enough down this way, I think, to assume that that campfire is not this way. I feel so betrayed. Like the internet has lied to me. I wonder if I could chop these little bushes down too. Yeah, let's drop the sticks. 
So yeah, that really, really will help, because you can really clear out a line of sight that way when you get out the water. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to, I guess, our original spot. This is like a whole waste of an episode, really. The only thing we figured out is what happens when you die. We're going to go back to our original spot up this way. And once the daytime comes, we're still alive. Hopefully we can find some more flint by that fire. Hopefully it's uh, respawned its materials by now. I've died, so hopefully, you know, crossing my fingers. I don't know what the respawn rates are. The guy don't know is that the moment you walk away, next time you load the game, after you die, I don't know, but hopefully we can loot that shit again. We can build up a fire real quick, warm ourselves up, and then we'll head to the village. I don't think it's that far inland. It's not that far from the beach, the first village. I'm sure there's more villages. Okay, there's our torch. We're definitely on our way. But, uh, oh, what happened? Okay, yeah, the sun's definitely coming up. We are still definitely really, really cold. 3%, 2% percent now. But up here should be where that house was. And we hope that we can find some food, too. That'll help warm us up a little bit. But if there's flint by that old fire pit, we can make us another fire, warm up real quick, and then we'll go to the village. There's another rock. We're going to need that. We wasted all those other stones on the uh, fire pit we never going to get finished. We should be seeing the smoke from it here soon. Oh, there it is right there. It's still left. So those are two fire pits from earlier. Which means around this way will be the other lean-to. With its fire pit in the little building. Yeah, we're losing health and everything again. We're freezing to death again. Alright, there's Flint. Stone. I don't see anything else over here. We're gonna need to chop down a tree. Let's do that now. Why ain't he chopping it? There he goes. Alright, when you go ahead and get this fire dropped. Oh, J. Click. Yeah. All we need is two more logs and some more stones. Oh my god, we're dying again. There's another lean-to over here. Where'd it go? There's another lean-to on this side. There it is. There it is. Tell me there's something in here I can take, please. No. Oh my god, we're gonna die again? Already? Already? Oh my god, this game is harsh. No room for error. If we could just get a fire built up, we'll live. back here and give me your wood log. That's enough wood logs, now we just need the stone. We need two stone. Oh my god, can we find two stone and put it in there before we die? Please. That's a fucking stick. Oh shit, well let's just get back over here to buy where we're building our fire and die, I guess. Wow, guys, so that's two deaths in one episode. I'll see you guys after we die and come back. Hey, guys, it's actually daytime now, so we're not really freezing to death so quick. So I'm going to go ahead and head to the village. We didn't spawn that far away, really. So I was able to get back to our stuff pretty quick. 
So I know the village is not far from the beach. So hopefully once we get to the top of this little crisp, this little ridge here, we'll be able to see it. And then uh, one of the things we want to start worrying about building when we get there is not like a house or anything, but like we, I know there's like a dedicated thing for spawning. It's like a little thing, you put it up and that sets your spawn point, so that's what we really want. It's our set to our spawn point to our new house. Huh, this looks a lot like the ditch he was talking about. So this whole time I've been at the landmark he was talking about. That's nice. So I couldn't find it. I was already there. So if we keep following this, we should eventually come across the um, the uh, village. We should start seeing it here shortly. Hopefully. Wait. I thought I'd seen it. It's not. This is just a giant cleared out spot. So we'll just keep going. I know it's not that far inland. It's just a matter of finding it. Oh, there's a skeleton up there, guys. So kill it. We haven't killed anything yet other than that one deer. Maybe we'll get something good off his body. And we're gonna need his skulls to build the thing I'm thinking of. Shouldn't be too hard, he's got a broken hip. Now he didn't even really hurt us. We kicked his ass. So we got some cloths. It's like decayed flesh and a skull. The skull is what we need for the spawn point thing I'd seen. I can't remember what it's called, but whatever. Oh man, it's snowing. It's snowing. Oh shit. So, watch us freeze to death now in the blizzard while looking for the village way out here after finding that damn skeleton. There's another deer. What the fuck's going on? Oh, there's a wolf! Oh my god! I don't know if that's two or one. Those are those wolves that were looking for us. Oh my god, put on bandages. How do I use them? How do I use them? Wait, hold on, maybe they have to be in my inventory. We're about to die again, watch guys. Ah. Oh. My god. I'm not gonna find my body out here. All that stuff gone. Well guys, make sure you hit that like button. We definitely gotta work on finding this village. This village is what we need. We need to find this village. The stuff spawns there, clothes, weapons and stuff. We're back to basics now. There's logs over here. Find some stone, maybe we can make a stone axe. But guys, tell me in the comments what you guys think. If you guys know where I'm going wrong and finding this damn village, let me know. But, uh... So hit that like button, guys. Tell me what you think. I know where I'm at. I know where I'm at. Which is a good thing. As you guys know from watching my other episodes, Splattercat, I first seen this game on his channel. So Splattercat really introduced me to this game, and ever since I started watching him play it a week ago, I've been like obsessed with getting it. Splattercat made his first little basic camp up here. I know where I'm at. That's good. 
So our shout out guys goes to Splattercat for making this series, introducing us to this wonderful game. No, this is not where he was at. He had a bigger rock behind him. Okay. Well, never mind then. I got all excited for nothing. I guess we'll take that. We don't have anything right now. We need to make a new axe. How do we do that? Let's see how I make a new axe real quick. We should have the stuff to it, I hope. Anyway, though, guys, yeah, hit that like button, guys. Subscribe if you want to see more. Real quick, we're gonna see how to make the axe. We're gonna need sinew. How are we gonna get sinew without killing anything? That's nice. Hit that like button, guys, if you want. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. This is Unfixing L1, and I'll see you guys next time.